Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. So, something we would consider pretty crazy is if someone were to suggest putting Earth into the asteroid belt, because that would be a lot of danger for Earth. But we've done it before and I want to do something even more wacky. So we're going to put Earth into the rings of Saturn and see what happens. Just how much damage will we, uh put Earth under, and can we actually make Earth habitable around Saturn? All very good questions to be answered, because they have a distinct and magnific mag magnificent implications for our future. Not actually, because this would never happen, but I have to pretend it's really impressive so the YouTube algorithm is like, whoa, that's cool. Great, so we've added... We have added Saturn's rings to Saturn. That seems good start. I'm gonna add a second one just so that it's a little bit thick. Maybe a third. Oh, here we go. Let's just do five. There we go. That is a that is a really thick ring now. All right. So we can we can definitely see the bands. I mean, Saturn's rings are absolutely beautiful, even though they're kind of the result of destruction of small children. Uh, by that I mean moons. Uh, ignore me, okay? Nothing I say needs to make sense. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get Earth, and we are going to put Earth smack dab in the middle of this as much as physically possible. I think that is pretty damn even. All right, so let's go to Earth, Earth Cam. Let's hope that the rush limit doesn't kick in and rip Earth to shreds. I didn't think about that one. Uh, like I, that would actually expand Saturn's rings. All right, so Earth is gonna have a weird line on it from all of the uh, rings hitting it. Oh, never mind. We don't have it that even. Uh, well, Earth is certainly messing up the rings, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's doing quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. Alright, so as Earth goes around, it is throwing Saturn's rings all over the place. Too bad we couldn't have a friendly survival here. Earth is getting absolutely pummeled with every little rock known to Saturn, and... Saturn is just getting pummeled because Earth is flinging material and rocks at it. Maybe on purpose, maybe not, who knows. Earth Earth may just hate Saturn. Unfortunately, Saturn's rings now kind of look stupid. Uh, and have become a lot more dangerous for both planets. Earth is coming around for another swing. Let's speed this up so we can see the full effect. I estimate within a few orbits, Saturn's rings are just going to be dead. Unfortunately, you can't put an object this big into a ring and expect it to not fling all the material all over the place. Earth's magnetic... magnetic? Gravitational pull. Man, I am tired today, aren't I? Um, Earth's gravitational pull is going to mess with it a little bit too much, so... If Earth was on the same plane, and, uh, in Saturn's ring, it would just rip it apart. Earth took damage, sure, probably destroyed everything on Earth. All of life is gone, but we destroyed Saturn's ring, so in a way, Earth really won, because we were a plague on it anyways, you know? Finally got rid of the pest problem. Alright, it looks like there is a small piece of ring that survived that is going at the same speed as Earth, and thus it's just a little bit ahead of it. And there's a bit behind it as well that survived. So it, it looks like there is slight hope for a tiny bit of the ring, but most of the ring has now either been ejected or spread into a much, much larger area. These poor particles. Alright, time for simulation number two. 
let's think of this one as Earth trying to do the least amount of damage possible to Saturn. Now, when orbiting, it's going to have to hit the ring at some point, because that that's how two circles around one object work. It's going to have to collide at actually two points, but we can minimize that by making it perpendicular points, and then we can just see how much damage that does. I have a feeling this will actually do more damage, because... Uh, before Earth was pulling the rings at least in the same plane direction, um, this time around it's going to be pulling them kind of vertically in these directions and it's going to cause it to wobble and kind of fly out in directions we didn't expect, uh, but that's why we test. Alright, so we're going to get Earth, Earth, we're going to put it right on in the middle, and then we're going to go up. And as you can see, it is going to collide with the rings at two points. And we're going to see what happens. So before Earth hits the ring, we should actually see the uh, ring bulge upwards towards it a bit. Uh, just because of the amount of gravitational pull. Not magnetic, may I add. I don't know why I said that. Probably because I'm terrible into the absolute worst. Alright. Are we seeing a bulge? Oh god, that's gonna be taken out of context so hard. Uh, actually, no, it didn't have enough time. So Earth is going to smack right through, leaving a hole. There's now just a hole in the ring. But Earth's gravity definitely did exert Force and it's caused this strange rip inside of the ring. Now, the damage is actually less at the moment, um, but it's going to come back around. Wow, the timing! It's going to hit the same spot again! Ah! <laughs> Wait, if it keeps hitting the same spot because it's basically the same orbit Earth is taking, uh, just perpendicular, that would mean that most of the ring should be fine? Because look, it just keeps hitting that same spot over and over and over again. Man, talk about kicking it when it's down. Ha! Huh, that is really neat. I didn't even think about that. Technically, the orbital distances are the same, even if they're not in the same direction. So they both end up hitting the same spot. This damaged area just always hits Earth. And the rest of the ring is actually not doing too poorly. Huh. I mean, Earth is going to have a tough time, because if you think about it, Earth is, well, smacking into a literal sheet of asteroids every single time it does this. But compared to last time, this is much less dramatic. I expected kind of the opposite, because, you know... Oh, look at that! The turbulence! Look at the, uh... The thickness Saturn's rings have now from Earth messing with it. Look at, there's like a tube here. Can we fly through it safely? Do 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 do. That is so weird. There's nothing inside of the tube really, but there's like, wow. I don't really know why that was formed. I don't know if you can tell on the video, um, but it's kind of like a hollow, uh, like a warp tunnel, but not actually, because that, that, that is not how that works. Uh, just pretty neat, not gonna lie. Earth is doing much less damage to Saturn. Earth is taking much less damage. And the rings actually look pretty normal. I mean, this has been eight days, so it has not taken very long to cause damage, but... I'd call this more sustainable than last time, definitely. I mean, look at that. Even when the rings get thrown apart, they don't get thrown too far apart, you know? It's not that bad. Maybe the rings will survive for like a year. I don't think I can sit around here for a year though and wait. 27, 20, I don't know, there's a tenth of a year. Nah. Now, uh, see, over a large amount of time, it just slowly gets messier. 
All right. So here comes the next the next one. Um hmm. So even if we didn't put Earth directly inside of uh, Saturn's orbit or not nope nope that's not what I meant to say Saturn's rings uh, we can still do some fun stuff with it so just add six of those bad boys let's put earth just outside just outside and let's try to get it even where is the lowest point on this ring I think it's actually like here all right now we're gonna look straight down it's really quite challenging. Nope. You want it to be an even circle. This is confusing. All right. That's about the same distance off on both sides. Nice. All right, so I'm putting Earth just outside of the rings. Uh, the effect this is going to have is going to be a little bit less dramatic than the first experiment, but it's going to be more dramatic than the second experiment, and it's going to be a little artsy because Earth is just going to tug and create some patterns out of Saturn's rings this time. Whoosh. It's like a shark fin. Look at it go. It's like a big vacuum, but look at that. It's like it pinched it. Woo! That is, there is a lot of material being pulled into Earth. It's almost impressive how much abuse Earth has taken. That would be very scary. Earth has kind of stripped off the entire outer ring. But now Saturn's rings have like weird formations. Little bumps that are like falling over themselves. Actually, I think we kind of just gave Saturn a little trim. Look at that. These are moving at the same rate as Earth pretty much. And the inner rings don't seem to be attracted to Earth. Not enough for them to escape easily. So Earth is still taking a little bit of material, but overall, I expected there to be more carnage. I know, terrible spike wanting carnage and terror huh well would you look at that i know over time earth will bulge and destroy the ring and that's to be expected but in the short term that was kind of much less than i expected to happen i'm not gonna lie huh well guys thank you for watching leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you all next time peace out also, like, like the video and comment what I should do next because I'm running out of ideas.